good. Extend that wrist. Uh -huh. We'll soon have you saluting the ref again. <laughs> <laughs> good. Where's think you're going? Yeah, for a walk. All in good time? No, now. Who's the physio here, me or you? Uh, Who was you told? I'll tell this bell to make sure your next bed bath's a cold one. <laughs> Go again. Yeah. Good. OK. I thought sleepless nights with babies was all in the past for me. Poor mate. He probably missed his mum. Would you like me to feed the little fella? Not unless you've got something under that shirt besides a medallion and a dodgy tattoo. We ran out of express milk that Dawn left us, and the baby's been bawling ever since. Not the ideal start to the day. Perhaps this will make you feel better. Well, it certainly won't make it any worse. Where'd you get this? I gave a friend a loan a while back. He sent it to me. I didn't see anything in the post. Hand delivered. When? This morning. But we've been together the whole time. Great. Keep this up and you'll have paid us what you owe us this time next year. Now, is there anything especially you'd like me to do? Descale the kettle, change the fat in the fryer? How would you like to clean out the bins? I'd be delighted. <laughs> Maybe I've been too hard on him. I'm sure you haven't, Mrs Hawkes. Taking him back to his mum? Yeah, I tried to call her earlier. There's no answer. He's probably sleeping off her hangover. Don't you think she's entitled to love a bit of steam after what she's been through? Well, of course I do. I just hope she doesn't make it a habit, that's all. You are right now. She needs a family support. Which she got at three o'clock in the morning when I was pacing the floor and you were snoring louder than he was crying. Sorry. I've never been very good at that sort of thing. Really? I'm really worried about Dawn, love. I have never seen her so down. She's probably missing Terry. Yeah, yeah, that's probably it, yeah. Do you know, thanks to your brother, coming here for Elevenses is the highlight of my day. Is that right, Pearl? The NHS should bottle him, sell him as a tonic. Tonic, eh? After the night I've put in. That's a frustrating. I knew it. I knew he'd come through for us. Who? Eddie. He started to work the old hope magic on those meal deals. Come on, admit it. He is doing a fantastic job. Yes, OK. I am very pleased with the work he's done. See? But before you nominate him as Business Man of the Year, don't forget why he's doing it in the first place. Yeah, but he's working really hard to make it up to us, Viv. Everybody makes mistakes, don't they? Hey? Eh? And everybody deserves a second chance. Yes, of course they do. So why don't you give him a bit more responsibility in there? You know, boost his confidence a bit. Well, I'll think about it. <laughs> All right, I'll have a word with him later. That's my little poodle. <laughs> Is he ready to go, then? Hi, Dawn. You all right, love? Yeah, I'm fine. Did he sleep all right for you? Good as gold. Great. How was your day off? Yeah, good, thanks. Is there anything that we can do for you? No, really, Dad, there's no need to worry. I'm, uh, I'm fine. Thanks for looking after him. I don't know, Paddy. Maybe I'm being paranoid, but I really think he's up to something. I've got a customer. All right, I'll speak to you later. Bye. Sorry about that. What can I get you? Nothing. I want to work with that bloke you work with. Eddie? Yes, there he is. Hey, I want a word with you. Hi. How's tricks in the bread trade? Tricks? You know all about them, didn't you? Like the one with the cockroach. Maybe we should sit down to discuss this. Can I help you? Simon, of Meredith Fine Fish. And maybe I can help you. How? You're about to ask. And you're also thinking, hmm, psychic and debonair. Well, I'll tell you exactly how I can help you. Muscles. Now, before you make any hasty decisions that may affect our future relationship and the possibility of a weekend in Grimsby if you play your cards right, try some. Hmm? We've got a special on shellfish this week. Now, don't go asking us for oysters or I'll have to disappoint you. I made a stop at a local bowls club on the way up here and they were all snapped up before you could say Viagra. I'll take some crab sticks. Uh, right oh, I'll be back in a tick. Hello there. Morning. What was all that about? Nothing. Just paying an order, that's all. Emily, who was that guy? What guy? The one with the toasty muscles. Simon. 
Ooh, he looks just like a Simon. I didn't think he'd be your type. Well, so what's he like? Well, he, he seems really nice. He's charming and funny. Available? I don't know. Oh, well, find out for me. And if he is, ask him if he'll come for a drink with me tomorrow night. Why don't you? Oh, go on, Em. Oh, all right. Oh, you're a star. Oh, I'll call back in later to see what he said. Well, didn't you want to buy anything? Oh. Hi, John. I was just wondering if you wanted to lift to the hospital this afternoon. Thanks, Dad, but I don't want you to lose any more time off work. No, no, it's no bother, no. Dan can spare me for an hour or so. Where is it? Look, to be honest, Dad, I don't even know if I'm going to go. There you go. The best seafood you'll ever taste. Mr Meredith, I have a question. Hold on. I predict that the last ball picked in this week's lottery will be... the bonus ball. You see if I'm not right. The mind is a powerful tool. Me and that hypnotist Paul McKenna? Well, like that. Really? Oh, no. We're more like that. But if I ever met him, I'd bet he'd be a close personal friend. Uh, sorry, you were going to ask something? Oh, it was just that... Oh, I'm the soul of discretion. Well... Now, go on, pet. You can ask me anything. Are you single? I might have known. I wish you ladies would stop objectifying me. I might look like the bouncy castle of love to you, but I've got feelings, you know. And you, a married woman. Oh, no, it's not for me. It's for my friend. Well, it, it would mean a reappraisal of my lifestyle choices, but uh, you place a regular order, I might consider it. No, not him. Nicola, the girl who was in here earlier. The little blondie? She was wondering if you'd like to go for a drink. Ah. Hmm. I like that. Where'd you get that from? Leonard sent it. Glenn Reynolds. And know what came with it. I love you. Well, it's not your birthday, is it? No. Well, why does he buy you that, then? He doesn't have to have a reason. Oh, well, I suppose you're right, really. <laughs> My set's just the same, eh? Do you know what he's bought me? <laughs> a boomerang with my name on it. <laughs> <laughs> Silly old fool. Oh, TJ, please. Is there anything that you need doing? No, oh, Dad. Yeah, give it to me. Let me have it. Look, for the last time, I can manage. It's not like that to me. I've got to God say. God's sake, leave me alone. <laughs> yeah, and then we're just on corner of Church and Main Street. Yep. All right, then? Yep, no problem. OK, then, thanks. Bye. Sorry to keep you waiting. There's your change and there's your receipt. Very Thanks nice. very much. Thank you. Wait a sec, don't I know that face from somewhere? Don't, know, don't tell me it's on the tip of my tongue. Very droll, very droll. Where have you been about this in here for days? Hi, Danny boy. I've been collecting wine orders from all over the county. And I must say, it's going very well. Yeah, and I've been holding four on my own. Well, it looks as though I have left the fort in very capable hands. Yeah, but with all business we've been doing, could do with an extra pair. Yes, madam. To sleep then. Yeah, finally. I'm really worried about you. Oh yeah. I've seen this happen before. <laughs> Been watching too many hospital dramas, have you? It's a bit closer to home than that, love. You know, you've got my grand's eyes. I know, you've told me that before. Oh, uh, mm. She doted on my granddad, you know. He's a hulking great man. Worked down the pits all his life. And then, one afternoon, it'd be about a month after he retired, she found him down the bottom of the stairs in a heap. She thought he'd just slipped and tumbled at first. He hadn't. Was it a stroke? He could do nothing for himself after that. So she fed him. She dressed him. And washed him. Until she died. And then he outlived her by about ten years. I'm sorry. I know I'm being selfish, Dawn, but I just don't want the same thing to happen to you. Hi, 
Grandad. I've brought Christopher to see you. Oh, nurse, could I have the phone, please? Sometimes I get so angry I could scream at him. It's so terrible. No, no, I do love him, Dad. I just don't know if I've got the energy to cope with him and the baby. Well, I care for Terry. He's my mate. But you're my little girl, and I, I just can't bear to see you suffering like this. You know, whatever your decision, I'm going to support you 100%. Whatever happens, it can't go on like this. <laughs> Dawn. Terry, is that you? Are you coming today? Yeah, I'll be there at three. What about yesterday? Oh, the um, health visitor came over. There was a problem with TJ. Oh. Is he OK? No, no, it's nothing to worry about. It's just a bit underweight, that's all. Um, listen, love, I've, uh, I've got to go. We can talk about it later, OK? OK. All right, I'll see you later, then. Love you. Bye. Well, why don't we start you off with half a dozen cases of the Merlot and one case of the Chardonnay? Hmm? Brothers. Yes, well... Well, I'd like you to try it, that's all. It's a cheeky little wine. Not quite as cheeky as you, though, my dear. What? <laughs> well, it sounds as though I ought to be delivering this wine in person. Wow. <laughs> All right, then, I'll do that. <laughs> so, am I going to be left to do everything? Relax, Danny boy. You don't need my help. You've proved yourself more than capable. Anyway, now that my wine business is taking off, I may have to leave the day-to-day -day running of this place to you. Well? What did Simon say? He said yes. You're joking. No, he was very keen. He was? I mean, I mean of course he was. <laughs> oh, that's his mobile number. <sighs> that look he gave me, I knew he fancied me. <laughs> what a hunk. I wouldn't exactly call him a hunk. You are? Well, there's no counting for some people's taste. Well, the main thing is you like him. You never know. Maybe Simon is the one. <sighs> Let's not get carried away, Emily. What was that for? As if you didn't know. Oh, did you like it? You're a romantic old devil, aren't you? Hey, hey, shh, not so loud. I've got my heart and my dimmit to keep up in this part, you know. <laughs> so, will I have the pleasure of your company this evening? You shall. I was thinking we could go over to Betty's for a few hands of poker. Betty's? But I thought you might like us to spend some time together, you know. On our own. Well, I would, but it just seems so unfair. I mean, we're having so much fun and she's home alone. <sighs> yeah, well, I suppose you're right. You know I am. <laughs> no. Where are you up to now? I've got some shopping to do. See you later, handsome. <laughs> would you phone him and arrange the date, Em? Why can't you do it? I'm not doing the chasing. And anyway, you've done such a good job at matchmaking so far. Oh, all right. Where do you want to meet? Tomorrow night, 8 o'clock, the wool pack. The wool pack? Don't you want to meet somewhere a bit more romantic where half the village out staring at you? Are you kidding? I want them to see me with him. There's no point in going out with a catch like that if you can't show him off. Thanks. Terry? It's a miracle. I never thought Viv would forgive me. 
I think forgiveness might be a bit of an overstatement, but she's certainly going to give you more responsibility around the cap. Yeah. What's that? Just call it a bonus. Little thank you for all your hard work. Bob, I can't accept it. Why not? I prefer it if you put it towards what I owe you. Thanks all the same. You know, I don't think I could be any more proud of my brother than I am right now. What's wrong? Nothing. I'm fine. Come on, love, you can tell me. It's just... I'm not sure all is as it appears to be. I'm not following you. With Eddie. I can't quite put my finger on it, but I'm sure he's up to no good. Look, I know what he did was wrong, but he is making every effort to pay us back. Now, if Vivian can give him a second chance, then surely you can do that too. I'm sorry, Mr. Rob, I felt I had to say something. Now, I know it's difficult working in the shadow of a great salesman. And I don't blame you for being jealous. I am too. What the... Uh, Emily, Eddie. Watch and learn. Watch and learn. I will, Mr. Hope. I will. <clears throat> oh. That's enough for one day. He must be exhausted. You look tired. No, I'm fine. All the better for seeing you walking again. What happened yesterday? I told you what happened yesterday. Look, I'm sorry, Terry. I just got scared. TJ? No, he's fine. So why are you scared? Well, I'm scared about you and me. Our future together. This isn't exactly the happy ever after I imagined that we'd have. With you being so stroppy and baby being underweight, everyone throwing the two penneth in, telling me where I'm going wrong. Don't know. I guess I'm just feeling sorry for myself. It's okay. I'm not as strong as people think I am, Terry. I'm not as strong as I thought I was. And that, I believe, is known as a royal flush. <laughs> it's a good job we're not playing for high stakes, Betsy. She'd have the shirts of our back. Yeah, well, she might get lucky. The night's still young, you know. No, I'm not that keen on poker myself. I'd rather have gin on me. But you're giving yourself away, Betty. You've got to practice your poker face. Ask Edna. She'll show you how it's done. <laughs> Shall I deal another hand, then? Um. I think Betty might have had enough cards for one day. Yeah. If Seth were here, we'd be playing cards all night. Yeah, but Seth isn't here, is he? Is there any else for me and Betty? Well, he says he's having the time of his life. Of course, he says he's enjoyed it even more if I were over there with him. <laughs> Mementos. That's what my Seth buys me. Mementos. Wouldn't catch him chucking his money away on flowers and bouquets. <laughs> Don't throw bouquets at me. Don't please my folks too much. Don't laugh at my jokes too much. People, People will say we're in love. love. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put kettle on, shall I? Don't. You made me happy. When we got married. I love you. And I love you. And if you want to... Move on. It's okay. What do you mean, move on? No. Please don't. No, that's not what I want. You put this ring on my finger and it's not coming off. Don't even think about trying to push me away because I'm not going anywhere.
Hello. Eddie from Cafe Hope. I'd like to set up a new account, please. What do you mean, try some other mug? <laughs> I don't know who's been spreading these vicious lies, but... Well, if that's your attitude, I'll take my business elsewhere. Goodbye. Damn it. Come on, Eddie. You just need to find a few more suckers and you'll be home and dry before they know what's happened. You can do it, kid. Now, you listen to me, Terry Woods. Our first priority is to get you well and get you out of here. All right, that bed at home is too big and too empty without you. Hmm. Now, I know, I know it's not going to be easy, but we've got each other and we've got him to think about now. Right, we're a family and we're going to get through this together. Aren't we? Hey. Oh, yes. Hey. What's all this? I'm not the only one who's missed being held by you. 